hello, and hey, this is Zero Goku Reviews, and today we're looking at the Snail Shell Phantom Machine Hotaru Dual Body Set. Snail Shell makes some cool stuff, but sometimes they confuse me. Like they have this line called GN Project, which consists of anime girls with, I guess, an animal theme. So this, which should fit that perfectly, is not part of the line. You want to know what is? <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Let's move on. This, however, is not part of GN Project. Genki Kikaku. I, I don't know what that is, but this is pretty cool. When a figure comes with another figure, the first instinct is to pose it as if it is a stand, but I assume this is more like a Diavolo Dopio situation. She goes from docile to, uh... I want her to step on my dick. If you like Dark Souls, there are some interviews you should read. You might find them... revealing. Anyway, this is Hotaru, and this is Hotaru Reverse, a name that is similar to Devil Reverse, except it might not be nonsense. Although this could actually be a uh, Devil Rebirth, which is still nonsensical, however, uh, my friend told me this, so it may not be correct. Hotaru is supposedly Ying, so Hotaru Reverse is Ying Reversed. I'm going to assume you get what I'm saying. If not, well, you can just look at this box. Now let's look at how the figure looks, and I gotta say, this is quite nice. Normally I'd compare it to the illustration, which I guess I'm still gonna do here, but the illustration is actually quite different. It seems at some point this was supposed to look like this, and at some point it did look like this, but they eventually changed up the concept and I cannot find an uncensored version of it. So from what I can tell, the illustrator, whose name I am incapable of comprehending, did a really good job with both designs. I do think that... Why do I keep doing this? What the, what the fuck is this? Um, I do think I prefer the direction they eventually went with this, aside from the dress, this, this one is better. The end result here also has considerably more edge. And that being said, more than anything, uh, this activates the black rock shooter receptors in my brain. Although, I do find this a lot more appealing than the scythe-wielding character in that series. Dead Master. And similarly, as you can probably tell, I am mostly talking about Hotaru Reverse. Because Hotaru, while also quite nice, is kind of plain and has a stupid dress. She does, however, have some funky panties. I have uh, several structural questions, but honestly, I'd rather talk more about Hotaru Reverse. I do like that this is culturally enriched with details reminiscent of classical literature, as in she perpetually has an x-ray effect that is commonly featured in such literature as hentai. However, I do wish she had more defined spinal detail, like the uh, Nuke Matrix Fox. But still, this is pretty cool. Something else that's pretty cool is that contemporary snail shell releases have articulation in their faces. Actually, it may be a bit more visually compromised by it, but articulation is generally better than, say, a Figma. And unlike their previous endeavor, the parts don't detach too easily. This is a very good thing because my copy of that figure actually uh, broke because of this. Uh, either way. You get depression, nothing, what you fucking deserve, crazy ass, and a mask face that is weirdly less expressive. You also get two different sets of bangs with punished variants. The back hair can be exclusively long or short. Also included is a horny variant of the long hair. Much like in real life, hands are optional. However, the options provided here are fairly standard, 
Except for some reason the uh, Satan hands have less holding options. Which is strange because why would you equip non-reverse Hotaru with any of the weapons? Like, the promotional images basically confirm this for me. Uh, speaking of weapons... Okay, this scythe is cool and all, but who do I blame for that fucking name? Uh, by the way, I'm not done talking shit about these names, because we also have... Are you sure you don't mean whip swords? And of course, her iron halo, that is not iron, but is a halo, is called a Hyper Ring. Some of these names are pretty questionable, I did get them from Ami Ami. Because while the names on Shozi's store are better, they're also fucking liars. But with those names on Ami Ami, something that is nice is that this is just called Backpack. Although I don't know if this qualifies as one, uh, mostly because I only have a vague idea as to what this is. <sighs> oh right, uh, this thing. I don't really care about this, and honestly if they wanted me to care, they'd give me another one of these, because otherwise I have nowhere to put this. Well, um, there is, uh, <laughs> one place you can put it. The... Snail Shell. Stand. Oh, uh, or not, uh... Unlike the last one, this doesn't look kind of ugly, it looks fine. However, as always, I do like the storage. Guts, Mazinger, Ludens. Uh, you also get this if you pre-ordered it. It's like one of those uh, Sumamare keychains. Overall, this is pretty good. Um, I consider this to generally be an improvement. The price is pretty steep, but considering this comes with two figures, the price is relatively not terrible. Maybe. That's about it. Thank you to the patrons. Even if one of them continues to astound me with their lack of intelligent thought. Of course, thank you to Formlab Reviews for recording the figure shots, and I'll see y'all next time. I don't want to do another take of that, fuck it.